The 3,000-meter steeplechase is considered one of the toughest events on the circuit. The different kinds of obstacles constantly interfere with a runner's tempo. Like any competition at an elite level, preparation and tactics make all the difference. Geyser Krauser, two-time bronze medalist at the World Championships, explains some of the finer points of the discipline. Anything can happen in the steeplechase. It's a very hard, it's a very competitive event, and so you have to focus on yourself, you have to focus on the rhythm and also on the barriers. We have 35 barriers in the steeplechase, and um, the tactic in, uh, in the steeplechase is, I think, an important fact, but um, the most important thing is that you're fast enough, because if you're not fast enough, no tactics um, will help you if the others are far away from you. You have to, to run with the pack. If you don't, you're, you will lose. A steeplechase contains 35 barriers, five for each lap, with a total of seven water jumps, one per lap. To conquer all those barriers and at the same time battle against other runners takes a lot of training. For example, make sure to have a strong core. That will help to keep your body in control. Find a way to save your energy to be able to manage all the barriers and water jumps and still have strength left for the finish. And focus on how to manage a tough pace. I think it's, it's very important to don't go out too fast in the beginning because the end um, is important too and you have to still make it till the finish line. It's unpredictable and you um, have to look what your competitors are doing and just to see what's going on and try to do your best to position yourself in the right way. Oftentimes, the pacemaker plays an important role in how a race will turn out. But when it comes to the World Championships or the Olympics, the pacemaker makes no difference at all because the major championships do not allow for one. This makes for different kinds of races. The interesting thing in the World Championships or the Olympic Games is that we don't have pacemakers. You know the personal records of your competitors but you don't know where the race will be after a while and what the pace will be and um, I think it's it's very exciting if it comes to world championships or Olympic Games because anything can happen but if it's about times the Diamond League is perfect just run fast and try to put everything out of your body and give 101% for running a great time. Pacemaker or not, the steeplechase remains one of the most challenging disciplines on the circuit.